Alan, you have yeah, seen it's on, it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon right now. I believe it's okay. free. Uh, but uh, you know, we back uh, a week or two ago, we talked about a disturbance in the force uh, and uh, the Star Wars holiday special. And this is uh, this kind of brings back the holiday special. It's actually written by Bruce Valanche. And the premise here is we, we go back in time uh, and Paul Lind is having a, uh, a a Christmas special. But the thing is, I don't know if you if, if you're like me, you, you know, I've watched a lot of these variety shows, a lot of uh, Hollywood Squares, you know, th these shows that bring celebrities together. Fun and merriment. But did you know Paul Lind was gay? Well, anyways, I think, uh, okay. Lynn, wait a sec. I think I could tell Paul Lynn was gay just when he talked, and like yeah. he was just so. I mean, I watched the Hollywood Squares. Was he always the center square? Yes, he was actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, early well, on, uh, people need to know who Paul Lind is <laughs> first. He's from the seventies, yes. and I was a kid in the seventies. His uncle watch, Arthur on Bewitched, and I used to watch. Um, I mean, there were a lot of sort of definitely gay characters. Obviously, one of the most famous. C-3PO. Um, uh, Dr. Smith from, from Lost in Space. Oh, my dear boy. Will. Oh, he was a fraidy cat. He was always oh, the pain, the pain. Oh, the pain. I mean, there are characters that were very, um, I don't, I don't want to, we don't necessarily need to say gay. I mean, gay doesn't necessarily equal effeminate, but it usually does. Let's, <laughs> let's be frank. Well, yeah. maybe, maybe he wasn't. Maybe, maybe, but, but this, this is uh, again written by Bruce Valanche, who uh, is famous for a lot of the uh, Hollywood, uh, a lot of these specials, and he uh, brings one to today. Um, pretends that uh, we're back in the sixties and seventies. Paul Lind is hosting. Paul Lind uh, is at home. It's Christmas Eve, and all he wants to do is uh, pour himself a glass of bourbon. But before he can, he's always being interrupted. Someone's at the door. Uh, someone barges into the living room with a with a squad of dancers behind them, and uh, and so he throughout the entire show he tries to get this glass of bourbon and, and it's and he's unable to do it. Um, show is loaded with stars: uh, Tab Hunter, Sal Mineo, uh, Liberace, Evie Harris, and B. Arthur. And uh, look, this is this is basically it's a very gay, very drag Christmas. Um, I'll say this: If you uh, are looking for a show that honors the birth of Jesus Christ, uh, you will not find it here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, every every Christmas Carol has uh, is just loaded with double entendre and sexual innuendo. Um, you know, it's a lot of. You know, did you know Liberace was gay? I I, I, I think I could figure. I think I yeah, could figure that out. Okay, Hunter, so he, does I, a, I have a, he does a song and dance number and. Uh, you know, this is for this is what it it is what it is. It's it's a gay drag Christmas special. Okay, but like, okay, I have questions. One, yes. he, two questions mainly. Is this safe for kids? No, it's not. Okay, okay, good, fair, fair enough. Yeah. Second thing is, is this a new special? Because Paul Lind is. Yeah, no, the, this is um, who is it? Uh, sorry, I need a Michael Arrington plays Paul Lind. Everyone, you know, it's it it was wait, shot wait, last wait year. A sec, wait a so. sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. So someone plays Paul Lind. Yeah. So because Paul Lind is no longer with us. He's no longer with us. No, this is this was shot last year. Uh and again, okay, it's written okay. by so Bruce Valanche. And it's a new show, not for kids, on Amazon, super gay, and and someone just wants Christmas. to drink themselves to sleep on Christmas. Yeah. So all right, there you go. So this is this is our essentially this is our Christmas content for for today's show. Yeah, because I didn't finish Merry Little Batman. I mean, I guess I could just, <laughs> no. you know. Yeah, I, you know, again, uh, look, um, regardless of how you feel about things, Bruce Valanche, uh, he's he's a joke writer. Uh, this show is full of jokes. Uh, you know, it doesn't take itself seriously. It, it uh, you know, it goes after Christmas, which is fine. Um, you know, it, if this interests you at all, it's it's available on Amazon. It's, it's you know, it's it's clever. Uh, I laughed a few times, so let's uh, we'll go with that. I would, if if this interests you at all, I would recommend it. Okay, recommend it. Um, I wasn't aware of this, but I do love Christmas specials, mm -hmm. and the Christmas holiday, the the uh, Star Wars holiday special we talked about. You know, uh, the documentary, a disturbance in the force. So 
that kind of got me. It just reminded me of all the bad variety shows that I watched as a kid. I mean, that was all that, that was a lot of what you saw on television. There are only three channels and then you had the UHF channels. And that was mm -hmm. like, that was it. And TV wasn't on all day. It actually went away to fuzz. Yeah. They just wouldn't show anything. Yeah. Yeah, two o'clock in the morning, uh, there was no TV. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing. It just sort of went off all that time. It just went to snow on a television, which now you can see in horror films. So good on that. All right. Well, thank you, Alan. I appreciate that. Yeah. Let's, Merry Christmas, let's, everybody. Merry Christmas.